What's up guys, my name is Zay Lucero and I am the founder of Limitless and Company. So me as a person, I try to stay positive and motivated and that's how I live every day. And I think that's why I wanted to start YouTube and then the clothing brand. I wanted to bring people together and share that word. And the reason I chose Limitless is because we're on this world for one time. And during that one time that we get, I think we should live life limitlessly without end and with endless possibilities. And the reason I chose Limitless is because I wanted to put that into cars effects that you shouldn't work on cars for anyone else to set an image, anything like that, but to do it for you, to make what makes you feel happy to think at the end of the day, that's my car in my garage, that's my car in that video, or that's that my car in that picture. And that's why I chose Limitless because you should build your car without ends, without being content. And every day you should add something new to your life and you should always keep moving forward. So I actually, I was very scared. It's, it's been around for three years. And with that being said, the first year it was very unknown to the world. I didn't tell anyone about it because with the mindset I had three years ago, I was worried about what others were gonna think of what I put out and the thoughts that I had. And one day I had to stop thinking that way and I had to do what was gonna make me happy. So I started putting this process together, process together and when it was my birthday two years ago, I decided, you know what, this is the day that we're going to release it to the world. So I had one of the homies come out named Brandino. Me and, my, me and Brandino took the FRS out and a couple of merchandise we had with for Limitless and we decided to get product shots and release it to the world. And two years later, we're still working on it to this day and every day we are growing. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they see us on YouTube, they see us on Instagram and stuff like that, and they see a picture, but they don't know what comes with that picture. You know, some issues that you don't take into account of fact is, um, I started working with a local company called Screen Kings, and they do an amazing job every single time to make sure that we get what we want and bringing our artwork put to life on merchandise for you guys. And I think that's an awesome thing for me is I want to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with these people and in the beginning, you know, we were just talking about clothes, but now those people are my friends. And that's what this brand is about, is meeting new people and being friends with them and having making memories. And every shirt we release with them, it's been awesome. And that's what I chose somewhere local. Um, another thing is too, is delays or natural events. Uh, with COVID going on, I was working on this brand with COVID and I didn't take into effect mailing services and stuff like that. So due dates and set times, you really have to adjust to that. If you have a holiday coming up, instead of working on it the month of the holiday, you need to work on your stuff two, three to four months in advance to make sure you're gonna have it ready for that set day. So I would say due dates and times, that's something that you really gotta focus on. Uh, another thing too is trending, what's trending at the time. Uh, what the YouTube videos we make and the clothes that we put out, we gotta make sure it's gonna reach out to our audience and they're gonna love it as much as we do because if not, it could be a good idea to us, but you know, it may not be to others. So that's why we gotta keep into fact that we gotta make sure, you know, I think this is what the people are gonna like, this is what they're gonna wanna see. When I think you set goals, you would want to reach all those goals in a, in a certain time limit, but with work and things that you have to put into it, time, that's not how it works. You just have to follow your dreams and the goals you set, and over time, they're gonna fall right into place. Uh, I would say five of my top goals would be uh, having my own warehouse, uh, as of right now, I do have my own warehouse. We have a couple cars into it, my tools, the clothing brand, and that wouldn't be possible with a couple people that I've met on the way that made a huge impact on my life. Um, the second goal would be driving my car on the strip. Never in a million years I would ever thought I could drive my Scion FRS on the strip, and we did. We got amazing content for you guys, and we were able to make that happen. Uh, third one would be starting my own clothing brand. Like I said, at 18 years old, I would have never thought that, but with clothes and I would follow people on Instagram and social media and you know, seeing a sticker on a car, seeing someone wear a shirt that was automotive inspired, I, I took that into consideration. I said, I wish I could do that one day. And the fact that we made it happen, that meant the world to me for sure. Um, my fourth goal would be probably uh, chasing dreams. You know, I have been on and off this road for a couple of years now. And I feel like what, what I have going on right now Chasing my dreams, that's a huge goal of mine and making sure that we're putting into place and setting these up to make them happen. I feel like with the friends and crew that I have now, 
And with the goals and how driven I am for this, I think this is the time where we're gonna make it happen and make our dreams come true. And of course, another huge goal for me was being on a magazine. Um, I think everyone, when they start off with cars, they have their goals. And mine was to be on a magazine for with what I want to do and what the word I wanted to spread. So I just wanted to say huge thank you to Quality Over Quantity. They were able to give me my first magazine feature. And without them, that wouldn't have been possible. So I just do want to say thank you to you guys. And it was an amazing experience to have. So right here is the first page of my feature. It kind of has the limitless koozies in the background with my car, the year, make, and model of my car. And then, you know, with going on into the article, it kind of goes over who I am, what Limitless is about, what I was striving to be. Um, without them, you know, this goal of mine wouldn't have been possible. But they asked me as of like who I am, where did Limitless come from, uh, what Limitless means to me, of course. And then, of course, uh, has the stance JDM style always been my favorite, which it has been. I've been into this, I think everyone could say a huge part of their inspiration was the Fast and Furious series and growing with cars and movies and you know, growing up driving your first car. I know my first car wasn't the car I want. It was a 1998 Ford F-150, but did I used to drift my F-150? Yes, yes I did, you know, because I wanted to be a part of that lifestyle and you know, I made with what I do, but now looking at once I have multiple cars, and the dreams I have, I think we can go farther into that process. I would like to get a lot of more things on footage. So I think maybe pursuing YouTube a lot more seriously, just because one day, yes, I'm doing YouTube for me, but one day I would like younger generations to be like, that was him, this is what he did, this is how much fun he had, just because I wanna get that documented. You know, hanging out with your friends, having good times, you, everyone wants to remember that. And to look back at that years from now, that would probably be a huge thing for me. Uh, another goal is traveling. Uh, two weeks ago we were in Vegas and next we're gonna be in El Paso. So I would definitely like to travel more and hopefully one day go to out of country shows and you know make Limitless an impact to other people in different countries. Uh, the third one, I definitely would like to get more homies and friends of mine involved. I want their dreams to come true as much as mine because I know this isn't just a solo process or just a one man thing. There's a lot of things that go into chasing your dreams and building things and a one person doing it, it's not enough. So finding the right people that have the same mindset as you, that's an awesome thing for sure. The fourth goal of mine would be probably buy my own trailer. Right now I'm getting the help from Adriana's dad to get a trailer to traveling out of shows and I would actually like to have my own trailer one day where it's custom with Limitless on the side. So when you see us on the highways or driving or at the show, wherever we're at, you know, Limitless is there, the homies, the crew is there and people will know, you know, that's that group that's just having a good time with their friends. Uh, the last goal is probably getting into a different avenue of building cars. You know, I'm already on my second stance setup where one was on coilovers now, one's on bags. Uh, I think drifting is gonna be my next goal for sure. And even down the road, maybe we might get into DRAC and rally. You just never know where we're gonna go, where the world and things may lead us to, but whatever it is, I'm pretty open to it. All right, so right behind me is my 2015 Scion FRS. Right now, it's currently on its third setup. We're actually getting ready for the fourth setup coming here within the next month. But this is my first car that I ever started working on. This is where, like, the frame and the process where I started learning on cars. Um, I can say before the FRS, I had no mechanical knowledge or anything like that. And the FRS was a major learning curve that could help me now work on my Lexus LS400 or anything that I need help with the homies. Every day is a learning process and that's where I grow. On my 2015 Scion FRS, we have the Rocket Bunny kit with the version one flares in the front and the version two flares in the rear. On the back of the trunk, we do have the Big Crunchy Labs Arrow Wing, and then on the sides, we do have the Arrow Wolf, Arrow Wolf end plates. On top of the car, we have the Todoroki Roof Stabilizer. For my wheels, I am running 18 by 12, 18 by 12 and a half work BSKFs that are white with 326 power wheel lugs. The overall suspension of my car is parts by max, whether that is the adjustable tow arms, control arms, traction arms, or trailing arms. And then I am on BC coilovers with 326 power 50K springs. Those are stiff boys. Yes, yes they are. <laughs> the next step for this car is, you know, this is my first build. And I have thought about whether if I want to get rid of the build or if I want to restart it multiple times. But I feel like my car 
Without my car, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I have met some awesome people with my car. I have met so many homies. I've been to my first car shows. All my first experience with the car life and everything that I have started has been with this car. So I don't think I can really get rid of this car. Um, I think the next step is maybe bring some life back to it. We can change a couple things out. Like I think we're gonna change the wing out, kind of get rid of that, go for a cleaner look with a carbon duct clip, trunk lid, or we can go ahead and change the powder coating faces of the wheels or change the overall wrap color as well. I do wanna get into single colors of putting all my, all my cars together in one color, just so when Limitless is out there, we can kind of get the idea of like, okay, that car's a part of Limitless, this car's part of Limitless, you know? And then at one point, I would also like to put the brand name on the car. The car is seen in many places, whether that's social media, YouTube videos, anything you can think of, and I just wanna make sure that we're sharing the positivity with the word Limitless on the car with you guys. So, <laughs> I started working out cars when I was 18 years old. And you know, when you're 18 and young, you really just have one mindset. And that's kind of just to really, you know, live limitlessly and not care if your car functions the right way or not. I mean, I lowered a car or it's sitting on about a one eighth tread of tire and that makes me happy inside. But as I get older and drive my car and stuff breaks and the more I worry, that's what I tend to do is worry about things. So I kind of want to get rid of that. And you know, driving my car, it's, it's a difficult process every day. It's an awesome feeling to drive it, but you know, worrying, that's kind of what I want to like leave that. If I'm going to break my car, the next avenue I would like to try is drifting. That's something that I've always been into. I think the first way I saw drifting was, you know, Tokyo Drift, how we all saw with Drift King and everything like that. And that was an awesome movie that we all watched. And I think that's where my inspiration comes from. I want to drift. I want to get into whether that's a IS 300, 240SX, even Corvette. And with the avenue of Limitless, it's not just stance related. We may seem like we have a lot of stance cars and all the homies, but that's, those are all just my friends. But as Limitless grows daily, we have Adam, that's a good friend of mine, and he's bringing his Corvettes into my life, and that's about racing, and I have no idea about that, but that's what this process is about, is learning and growing and understanding new things. And with Limitless, I want more cars to come in with different styles, different avenues, so I can learn more about that. So the overall build on my 1995 Lexus LS400, I bought that car because I wanted to join the VIP Bipu lifestyle. And what that is, the Japanese life over there, they had the mafia cars of these big body cars. And the style is to have everything blacked out, curtains, tables in the back, everything like that. And that's what I'm going towards with this car. I bought a 1995 Lexus LS400 pre-facelift. And what I started doing to it was I upgraded the front bumper, which is a 98 to 2000. And then of course the rear trunk is gonna be a 98 to 2000 as well. So it's kind of like a 1995 converted to a 98 2000. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there is three different sets of models of the LS400s. You have the 90 to 94, then you have the 95 to 97, which is the pre-facelift, and then you have the facelift, which is 98 to 2000. And right now on my Lexus LS400, um, all controllable, all adjustable arms are serial nine. I am right now, I am on AccuAir bags for the car. The reason I chose bags different from the coilovers that I'm usually on, um, I wanted to learn about different things. I've never worked on bags, never worked with bags, and that was an awesome process that we did with my car was bagging the LS400. So I was able to learn about that, and I think with being an overall enthusiast is bringing knowledge together in different things so you can understand the different styles, the different looks, and everything like that. We're also working on a trunk setup right now. We're thinking about doing a carbon floor inlay where we can, and also hanging the air tank in the air. So once we open the trunk, whether we're at shows or showing the homies, that you can see we still have the space and it does look proper and clean. Right now on the Lexus LS400, the, the wheels we have on there are the GMR VSS 12s. And the time that I started working on the Lexus right now, GMR was a brand that was just released to the community and they were putting out some awesome wheels that I had never seen before. And I do like the work carving heads, the paint and raise spoke style, but I wanted to give a different brand other than work and raise a look. So I decided to go with the GMR wheels. They have the spoke I look and I felt like that would be the best look for the Bipu JDM VIP style that I was going for. I would say, yeah, you know, you have to get the idea of what's going on in your world and see and what you want to work on and see what others are doing. And I've watched a lot of YouTubers, uh, a couple of people that inspire me as like TJ Hunt, Dustin Williams, the homies from Eliminate, uh, Evan Shanks, all those guys that work on cars for their lifestyle, for their career, their jobs and have fun with it. 
that's somewhere I would like to be one day for sure. Um, I've been to SEMA a couple of times, thanks to a couple of good friends of mine. And when I go to SEMA and I meet these people, because I have met TJ Hunt before in person, and what people think it's a whole different world than ours for where they're at, it's really not. You know, people just don't see the grind that they put in to this. You know, 10 years of grinding is the overnight, uh, one night overnight success, and people don't realize that. Those people are genuine people that have just grinded so hard and I've met in person and they're the nicest people ever and people don't realize that. So that is something I aspire to be is not change who I am, not change where I'm from, but just to grow and put the work in to get there one day and to say, you know, I'm a normal person. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico and I have dreams that I want to make tr come true. Uh, with that being said, I would like to thank Adam for having me out today and doing my first interview. This is an awesome experience. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure to show Limitless some love. Thank you for taking the time with me today. But no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble, always try to make a difference, and live life limitless.